The affordable housing panel addressed many of the fundamental issues surrounding the state of affordable housing in Guam and the factors affecting the housing market, such as housing options being limited and demand being high, expensive lots equal to expensive housing, expanding new infrastructure is expensive, construction costs have gone up due to the scarcity of materials on island. $8.6 billion military construction activity is holding up housing and other private infrastructure projects off base. Interest rates have increased from 2.7% to 5% in over a year. A single-family dwelling median home averages $420,000, which equates to about $7,000 in payments per year and about $200,000 more for a 30-year fix on that home. There are government initiatives such as the Low Income Housing Tax Credit to offset costs in order to make housing more affordable. LIHTC created by the Tax Reform Act of 1986, is a federal program funded by the U.S. Housing and Urban Development and administered through the Guam Housing and Urban Renewal Authority, which gives $3 million in tax credits that generates 60 to 80 units per year. But Cornerstone Valuations founder and president Siska Hutapea says it's not enough. My family went to... Um Montbachtal in Germany um, a, a few summers ago, and they have this ca cabin for bedroom, one bath, and they design it, and it's only 800 square feet, and they design it so efficiently that it makes sense um, 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 for people. And because of the high construction cost in Guam, it makes sense to have a design, and I know uh, Guam Housing Corporation is working on this. It's, it makes sense to work on a design of a house that are compact and efficient and have the permit ready to be copied or ready to be issued. Um, and, and I think, you know, it makes sense for, for a government agency to have this, like, maybe seven sets of uh, uh, floor plans that um, uh, local... A uh, uh, local young couple can just take and bring to DPW and have building permit. So um, it makes sense to make things smaller. And then later on, when the, the young family, you know, earn more money, they could expand and, and just design it in the beginning. So it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't look like just like additions and additions. Hutsapea says that with GovGuam owning a third of the island's land, they haven't been good stewards of public land and can do better by making an inventory of public land, implement a priority list, and lease high-value land in order to create seed money to build a trust fund to cover the costs to survey land and begin construction of infrastructure that can accommodate newly developed homes. In order for us to empower local family, we, we know a lot of locals own a lot of land, but... The problem is there's no infrastructure on that land, so they can't build. So the way we can empower local families to have land, to, have, to build their own um, houses is to provide infrastructure. Uh, we have problem on construction labor, and I know my good friend Dr. Mary Okada is working hard at GCC, um, and, um, um, and we also have the H2 worker coming back. And I know my uh, planner's friend are, uh, are not going to be happy about number six, to relax zoning laws, but we do need to have that. Why? Um, our our um, livelihood in Guam, we like to live in a compound as a family. And if we make the additional dwelling unit, um, um, you know, uh, legal, and we build it within setbacks, we can finance it, it will really empower the local family. Cortec Chairman Ho Yun says that if the government can go through a land lease bidding process, that would allow land developers to lease public land for about 100 years. They would be obligated to build the infrastructure and in turn sell or lease back the land to potential homeowners. Another option would be for the land developer to go through the bid process, build the infrastructure and the house or housing subdivision, and then lease the home and land to potential homeowners. It's harder and harder to get a um, house lot that has all the infrastructure. And it shows in the median price of a uh, house lot. Before, um, you know, uh, a median size of house lot in Guam is about half an acre. 
Before you could get half an acre, the median price for half an acre house lot was only about $60,000. As of 2022, because of the um, uh, limited supply in easily ready to build house lot, the median price for a half acre is $100,000. 67% um, higher than the, what it was. For those that are denied by a financial institution for a home loan can seek assistance from the Guam Housing Corporation. Reasons include not having a down payment or credit issues. It only takes one time to be denied to avail themselves of two loan programs within GHC that provides 100% financing, which can include closing costs. However, to qualify, it will depend on the individual's income and housing ratio that is currently at 29%. We're mandated to provide assistance to basing it on, our, on the um, median income, up to 200% of that to, uh, median income. So based on that income and with the program requirements, the range of affordable, affordable homes is from 231,000 to 420. Um, we capped it at 420 because that is our maximum loan amount that we can provide. Very few, we have issued out commitments to uh, applicants showing that we've committed the loan for this amount. They're out there in search for property to purchase uh, an existing home. We tell them, look for raw land and see if it's already equipped with infrastructure. Then you can go ahead and build, because then that, at that point, you can control your construction costs from the difference of, of your, your land. To include, it could be for residential land or agricultural. But always be mindful that it should be equipped with infrastructure or else you're going to have additional expense. BSP Deputy Director Matthew Santos says it's important to spread out low-income families and not focus on a single area. Ensuring new developments, even single-family homes, contribute to infrastructure impacts and require developers to have design features in order to not impact their surrounding community negatively, such as storm water runoff. Santos asked the panel if there could still be a balance between affordable housing while imposing costs on housing developers or homeowners when their bill does impact their surrounding community. Hutapea says, although land for sale in the south is affordable, but without reliable public transportation, the demand will still be in the central area in Guam. Now, the reason why it's good to build the new affordable housing into Mooning is because it's the employment centers. Um, and, and that's where people work and make money and, um, you know, uh, at a relatively uh, short distance to their, where they live. Hutapea says still, if the local government invests in the infrastructure down south, such as power, water and sewage lines, it will empower families to decide to move south and in turn spread out subdivisions across the island. However, Hatapea says it's important not to impose more costs towards developers as that would just be passed down to the families that are looking to buy and further deter developers from building affordable housing to purchase. GHC's loan administrator, Mary Guerrero, says that Guam has a housing trust fund which provides assistance for first-time homeowners. Now, this housing trust fund allows, it's going to address the issues for funding, and as funding is there, then we can identify all the priority of all the challenges or the barriers to make to, for addressing home ownership, uh, housing, whether it be for the homeless, emergency. Once you have a fund, um, then you can list and you can divvy it out based on the, on the priorities, so that Act already uh, exists. We really need to go back and we need to determine how best we can address the funding source. We need to work together so that whatever is suggested and we submit it to the legislature and eventually uh, approval, then we can identify programs that we need to, to fund. For Buenos, I'm Polly Suba.